The Titan Submersible is an impressive high-tech capsule specifically designed to withstand immense pressure, capable of diving to the depth of the Titanic. It was co-designed by NASA and OceanGate, and even CBS's David Pogue had the opportunity to make a dive in this remarkable vessel. During his dive, Pogue noted the impressive technology of the capsule but also observed some improvised equipment. For instance, they obtained certain items from Camper World and even used a game controller. This raised questions about the preparedness of the craft and the rescuers in case of unforeseen circumstances, such as the submersible getting snagged in fishing nets or losing all power. Navigating the extreme cold, total darkness, and crushing pressure at such depths poses unique challenges. Traditional navigation methods, like radar, do not work, and it is impossible to have a line tethered all the way down due to the weight and drag. The submersible, measuring about 7 meters in length, features a titanium cap with a viewport for the crew to enter. Once inside, they are securely bolted in and cannot exit on their own, even if they reach the surface. The interior space is roughly the size of a minivan and can accommodate up to five people, along with some snacks and a limited water supply. The air supply is estimated to last about another day and a half. In the event of an emergency, there are multiple mechanisms for resurfacing, including various types of ballast release and inflatable air bladder and propellers. However, the question remains, why hasn't the submersible surfaced yet, assuming it hasn't already? Ron Toygo, who had previously dived on the Titan, experienced a temporary loss of communication for a couple of hours but emphasized that the crew was thoroughly prepared for such scenarios. They were briefed on potential issues before the dive. While the Coast Guard is mobilizing all available resources for the rescue effort, there is no certainty that the submersible can be successfully brought up from the depths. The complexity of the situation and the lack of adequate resources pose significant challenges. The French authorities are sending a deep submersible to assist in what would be a miraculous rescue operation beneath the surface. Due to the depth, transferring the crew onto another vessel is not possible. Instead, the entire submersible will need to be raised, attached to a support system, and then extracted, all of which will require considerable time. This rescue operation is a race against time, as the rescuers do not have an abundance of it. The families of those on board the submersible anxiously await news, hoping for a successful and safe rescue.